When Dennis Hastert steps before a judge tomorrow, the former House Speaker will learn whether or not he goes to prison for breaking federal banking rules in a scheme to cover up sexual abuse. The banking charges are just part of the broader allegations that Hastert molested at least four former students when he was a teacher and wrestling coach at Yorkville High School just outside of Chicago. At least one of those students plans on speaking in court. The most significant signal the judge has given us so far as when he told the parties um, a short time ago as he was thinking about sentencing that he wanted the parties to address uh, that situation where Mr. Hastert came into the government and basically characterized himself as the victim and pointed the finger at individual A as effectively an extortion perpetrator. Prosecutors say the 74-year-old Republican was desperate to keep the abuse secret and agreed to pay $3.5 million to a person identified only as individual A. I would be surprised if Mr. Hastert's lawyers go after individual A too hard um, because otherwise they're going to start to unwind the acceptance of responsibility that Mr. Hastert wants to show the court. Because the statute of limitations on the sex crimes ran out decades ago, prosecutors charged Hastert with dodging bank reporting requirements when he withdrew the hush money, charges he pleaded guilty to in October. The defense has asked for probation, citing Hastert's failing health and the price he has already paid in public humiliation. Emily Roseman, Associated Press.